if not for sheer wickedness hmm? if not for sheer wickedness what would make somebody borrow money from someone else and suddenly start misbehaving now you will see a person he has an issue he has a problem now he's going through his phone constantly he has called lots of people friends family you know he has asked them for money everybody's giving him one story or the other it's even somewhere crying ah now i need help nobody's coming through and then he now finally asks this, this other person for money which sometimes you right that this person whom approached you and said please there is this urgent need there is this urgent problem could you borrow me this money it's not like you don't have your own personal problem though you do but then you somehow feel okay fine this is my friend now you know i mean this is the best way i can be of help now you took the person's word for it you lent them this money it's not like you don't have other things to do with money but i mean you wanted to be there for your friend now time to pay has reached sometimes you don't even want them to pay it's not even as if you want to call them for the money right you just want to call them to genuinely check up on them your own friend right now the person you've been friends with for many years is no longer picking your call it's not as if they're avoiding you because they borrowed money from you the worst part is if you're not finding you need the money so you would ask okay fine you brought this money from you you know they'll keep posting you one date another date you know and then finally they would ask you questions like how much is it for you borrow me how much be the money is for you borrow? how much will you even borrow you see borrow but still ask me for this money if i say i'm going to give you nothing you go do <laughs> if i said i will give you it nothing you go do and you're actually wondering how this person feels that is the end of life like I, I i tell people often that when you behave this way i don't know why they do so but when you behave this way don't really forget that before you met me or before you asked me for that money you asked other people and they did not give you i was the one who came through and i helped you as a friend now i'm losing both the friendship your respect for me and i'm practically having a bad name because i want to come through for you but the question is why are people like it doesn't really make sense to me i have sat down continuously and i'm always trying to make meaning now out of this 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 whole serial i have a very good friend of mine we're quite close he get he told me a story um late this year about one of his friends he's been trying to you know travel abroad so god has done everything now you know how it is when you're trying to travel abroad now the papers and everything doesn't come cheap and this guy met my friend continu- consistently continuously he kept asking you know please if i get you know abroad if i get to the uk i would come through for you it's not a problem now if i because he's, he's a tech guy like us as well you know little little jobs i would pay you back now my friend had recently just quit the job he had so he gathered the little he had he said okay i just quit my job and i'm trying to make something out of my life learn new skills and rest because he's been working his ass off you know himself and all that so he wanted to relax up a bit and manage the little money you know he's been earning because i think he was earning around four thousand euros or thereabouts he was earning quite well he's been able to save up he wants to use that money to improve his skill relax up a bit regain himself i mean coding is it's stressful i said all the time creating software is a stressful so he wanted to go on like you know six months without uh, working what he told me about it was a beautiful idea but what he did not tell me before was this his friend came in asked him for money he said okay fine he helped this his friend i don't know the person but he helped him he brought him some money i don't want to disclose the amount but it was a million i'm talking about over a million naira. it was more than a million naira. now this guy did the papers got abroad everything was successful he promised my friend he's going to pay back january January now my friend calls him he doesn't pick up the call sends him messages he doesn't reply only for him to tell my friend that you know oh there's a land i want to sell maybe i'll give you the land in the place of the money my friend said that but that's not what we that's not what i did i told you i wanted to spend some time improving myself and he just said once you get outside of nigeria the first week you're gonna pay me back now as i'm talking to you right now the guy doesn't even communicate with my friend anymore you know the whole years they've known each other which is the whole years he has known him it's all gone he can't even call the guy right now and just him and say ah, 
how fun how that place been how work been uh. so obviously right now the other guy has decided to make him an enemy and then funny enough this guy was actually raxing money from lots of their friends uh. in fact when he actually met this my guy that gave him the money he had met other friends and none of them answered him they'll probably even joke with him you don't hear from this guy they try to beg me money you are not get and not get power you know like nobody actually cared at the moment this guy couldn't have anybody come through and when he told me about the story i, I first laughed and i said <laughs> as if i tell you my only go green like you go you go you will see why they be like sending the air person again my own story was few years ago i had a friend of mine see something related to visa but he was he wanted statement of account so when he approached me, this was 2020, that COVID-19 period, things were blooming very well, everything was sweet. He reached out to me, he calls me Wokiki, and that's one of my titles, you know, my friendly guy-to-guy title. And I said, ah, one name, how are you doing? He said, fine. He said, he's leaving, you know, the country where he wants to go to Canada. You know, he wants to go find greener pastures and all that. I said, okay, fine, good for you. I'm not really someone who really cares much about living in the country, but it's fine. He said, problem deal. I have a problem. What is it? He said he doesn't have statement of account. So as it is right now, he has enough money to be able to like fly, pay for his visa, papers, and the rest. But these people need to see reasonable money in I said, ah, you can go write a deal with the bank now. He said, ah, it's not really coming into you. And the bank is saying that they would have to put a PND on the account. And you know, what if the visa people go to and they divide the PND? Like lots of Nigerians do that, they borrow money from the bank, put it, and then they put the PND. He wasn't okay with lots of things. And then I said, Okay, um, I go on go on. I said, If they have free borrow I'm small money, I said, How much is it? 10 meter. I said, ah, 10 meter will be small money like that, though. But I mean, it's just going to be in your account, right? The moment you get to Canada, you give me a refund. He said, Fine. I said, Okay, no problem now. We'll do it. Let's do it. And I didn't do it immediately. He back and front, I'll be like, Okay, whenever I'm free. So normally I was supposed to go back and relay this with my lawyer, probably get an agreement you know, for the two of us, but I mean we're friends, we've known each other for long. And he happens to have attended the same secondary, no, primary school as me. Primary school. Like we basically grew up, you know, playing as kids, Jangulova, yes, primary school. And I knew him up to secondary school, you know, after which we both um, went our separate ways. He calls me often whenever he needs my help and I oblige we just once in a while he comes visiting me once in a while so basically we're still you know good friends i had no reason to start bringing up my lawyer or so i thought okay we proceeded and um, i gave him the money he traveled and i did not hear from him that much okay when he got okay before he traveled first of all i told him okay how far since they've given you you know approval it's been stamped you can refund my money Right. He said, no, let him just get there. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it tomorrow. I said, okay, fine. No problem. Then he finally got to Canada. Still called him again. Say, I've had the 10 meter now. He said, oh, I'm going to do it. Okay, fine. I bless I will first send you 50% first. You know, when you hold that one first. I want to give you that one first. Maybe you'll be like, see, make nothing. Else. No, it doesn't matter. No people will do settlement of account. You don't do it. You don't pass. You can remove the 10 million. They won't revoke your visa. Just send me back my 10 million. And then he said, um, I should just you know calm down so okay i didn't i didn't bother i mean i've known him for long i mean we're all happy he's not abroad so it's not the time to start shouting besides there's still millions in my own account it's not like i gave him everything i had i was still boxed up you know i was doing well for myself and the first month had passed sometimes i send him messages you know he would tell me oh he's here he's there he would call back and I don't get to hear from him all the time anyway, but it's not something I, I want to put my head into. So I just you know, live my life and you know, just be. And slowly, the after the first month, the I think it was first or second week of the next month, like him being in Canada, and I reached out to him again. And I said, okay, I think I messaged him, messaged him. But finally, I get, he doesn't reply my messages, and I don't like calling people because I don't I don't like like people calling me on WhatsApp, so I don't like calling. But that I just said, I just said, ah, go ahead with it, and I called. And I wasn't so happy. I called, you know, on shoot, dude. He might be on the video recording or something, but I called. He peeked and he greeted me. But this time around, it was quite cool. I mean, this this is my friend that we both just we feel talk for more than <laughs> two hours. You know, when men men they talk more than two hours, we just virtually about everything. We will laugh, we will talk. When he comes to the house, most times we play game. Like I actually thought I was talking to a brother, but now this guy was giving me cold feet, right? 
and he was really really mean in the way telling me how to like if say i know this was his words he said you know if i carry that 50 percent so i won't give you that time off. i said ah when i first said <laughs> when i first said that one i said ah it didn't happen i said you supposed to give me 100 now which i be for first guy the 50. Ah. i said is there anything wrong he said no but he has touched part of the money so what he's going to do now he's going to borrow it right and he's going to pay me and i said ah and at this particular point in time you know it's not something i didn't expect it it's not like we're enemies we're we're good friends i don't know how to start saying i don't i don't know i don't i don't understand like kin kin me now like i don't even i don't know how to put the words but this was me like being in a position where i was both disappointed and i don't know what to say that would make him feel bad he's doing very well like i don't even want to upset that relationship but yet still i wanted to know what was that really made him spend the money so i was not like no, it didn't really happen now. Like out of the 10 million, how much you want to send right now? He said, um, he can try and give me like yeah, I think he see they see it's up, it's up to three million or there about. He said three million out of ten million. What happened to seven million in less than a many point? He said, okay, when he got here, the place he the first like the place the process for him to come and stay, it wasn't conducive. So he had to exchange that in like how do I put it? He had to send somebody part of the money in his naira account and then they gave him dollars like he exchanged part of the 10 million that i gave him for statements got some dollars and paid for a better apartment like the place he was staying or the place they gave him wasn't good and then he just had to buy the little things and set up and you know but as time goes on he's going to pay me <sighs> at that particular point in time man, i was really disappointed i couldn't say a word i told him okay so right now it's not even up to the 50 percent he said that he said okay you should send the three million I said no problem. We spoke. I said okay, fine. I pressed him the account details. I did not hear from him that night. The next morning, I sent him a message again. I did not hear from him. I sent him a message again. I did not hear from him. Then called him and I called him like two or three times. He didn't pick. And then I just told him, remember that I'm not gonna be a poor man, no. And I don't need poor in the next twenty years. No. Go do it and go put you for trouble, no. because I don't go drag the money with you. But you go fish for you or that help from coming. No. And then he called back and told me i was very sorry why did i sound that way you know how much is even the money if not that things are summer that normally is he supposed to ask me for money and i'm now wondering okay fine i was asking myself apologize and telling him i don't know if what i said upset you but what i'm trying to say is i've been trying to call you and not taking my calls i mean don't do something that would affect that relationship but i need my help tomorrow because i know he called lots of people did family members couldn't even assist him so i was trying to remind him but if what i said got you upset in any way I'm sorry. He said, okay, no problem. He's going to send the money, which is the balance, what is left of it. I said, okay, fine. I waited a bit the afternoon. He didn't. And evening, I just told him that, see, if you don't send the remaining part of the money, whatever you're sending right now by evening, I'm going to leave the money for you. Like, I'm not going to disturb you. And when I sent it, not too long, he came online, but he did not read it. So I think he must have read it through notification or something. And I got a lot. You know, I think it was three point something million or thereabout. He now sent me a picture and then I which is transfer screenshot and apologized, told me he's really sorry for the whole thing that transpired, that you know we shouldn't have issues, blah blah blah. He spoke very well that day and I was happy. This was twenty twenty. From twenty twenty till now, because I think it was only once he sent me a millionaire. Since that time till now, I don't hear from him. I had this currently building a house right now in his village. He's doing very well. He sent his family money. You know, his sister is even, I think, one, his sister called me one time, invited me for a wedding. I think that was last year, November, or thereabouts. And they said he might be coming for the wedding in December. And I haven't spoken to my friend for more than, <laughs> for more than close to eight or nine months. As of that last year, they got me, you know, the invite. Now it's more than a year I haven't spoken to him. This is somebody whom we were so close together. Right now, it now feels like we never existed, all because I was of help to him. So sometimes I wish maybe if I hadn't helped him, maybe by now for the coming once in a while, they asked me how Ninja did. Maybe by now for the talk once in a while. But I think my goodness now has actually spoiled my relationship with him. Because right now he doesn't want to talk to me anymore. And I'm not a bad person just simply because I decided to be there for my friend. But now the question, like I asked before, waiting person to, to be nice to another person. People keep complaining how they don't have anybody supporting them, they don't have good friends, they don't have family members, you know, they don't have people who would appreciate them, you know. But when they finally see somebody who does, they treat them bad. 
the nicest people are usually the people who have been taken for granted you know i've not seen a a a, a, a wicked person ever complain of the world being wicked it's always the people who are nice that get to see you know themselves being treated bad you would accommodate somebody with good mind let them stay in your house and the next thing they want to now snatch your boyfriend or they want to now snitch to your girlfriend or they want to not say your property or they want to not gossip and tell people around the street bad things about you like this is somebody who should be homeless maybe he doesn't even have a roof over himself but right now the thank you he can thank you is to start you know gossiping about you stealing from you or making people look at you in a bad way you know you will see someone who will run and call you right now tell you how his family member is in the hospital that has happened to me numerous times now i don't even i don't even know the kind of life i want to live anymore should i just be selfish to people because the amount of ungrateful it's not even about you can't pay if you can't pay you can be very very apologetic and appreciative mr daniel i can't afford to pay you the money i loaned from you you can actually be appreciative let me know that i did that thing for the universe i can say oh i don't live out for god you know knowing fully well that i did something that you might not be able to pay me but maybe the universe will reward me for the help but i don't even get an explanation or an apology or an appreciation for the money i gave up for the assistance instead i would be made to feel bad sometimes they do it so i don't disturb them like sometimes they are they are rude to you sometimes they don't want to pick up your because sometimes they're avoiding you just so you don't ask them for the money again like these people basically want to burn a bridge you have had with them for long so now i don't know if to tell you guys not to help or not but the question of the day 14th of december sorry 14th of february today is the 14th of february 2023 my gist for today is a very open question please tell me how you have helped somebody and tell me how this person in return repealed you back now also advice because i don't even know the advice to give me myself i tell people now don't borrow anybody money oh, except you're tired of that relationship the only time you should actually try to give anybody money is if you know you can afford to let go of the money if you know you can't let go of the money please please and please please i would say it one more time do not give them the money that's because i notice people i dash money they've been coming i've been dashing people money for years every day they're always calling me to tell me thank you for the one you dashed me last time and they're still friends with me if i can afford to give them i give them but the ones i borrowed money i'm not enemies with them so out of shame so I, the, the funny thing is if you even if you even remind them or you, you raise your voice you become enemy while i was in school i was this girl who borrowed money for me to buy i said to buy to pay her you know, um, but I was called again to tuition fees that period. She owed me for long, and I'll keep seeing this girl wear bone straight, put on good clothes. One day I confronted and I got mad. I said, I want my money because it's not as if you're doing well. You don't even take my calls anymore. You know, I'm talking to you in front of your friends, pressing your phone. If they act like that, they act you for another thing. I know they act you out. I want my money. And then she now said, Is it because I did not agree to date you? So that thing even shocked me, the hell out of me. So now, <laughs> as a man, I don't borrow any woman money because, I mean, if I borrow you money, it will just take you to just say that i wanted sex and you didn't give me that i'm fighting you and everybody will just side you so uh, my advice to men totally when it comes to women <laughs> except that person is your sister which i don't even know why men they don't even help their sister some of you you have sisters who are very good in sewing you have sisters who are very good in cooking you have sisters who have one skill or the other hairdress you will never buy them even come on hair dryer you will never even help them you won't even answer them but if they go buy woman pro mass phone, if they go pack money, they give different, different dirty people money, they share give them. At the end of the whole day, they go they don't go even remember all the, anything you do at all. You know, I keep telling everyone that do things that will be worth it. Giving money to people on loan that doesn't come with a contract and a collateral is not worth it. If your friend trusts you so much and you trust him so much, you should bring a collateral. And if it's not your friend, she if it was someone else, you would bring a collateral. And why is he having issues? And it, it's it is business now. I mean, it's just for both of us to be on the safe side. Any friend who wants to borrow money from you, but who feels bad or frowns at collateral, but is ready to give that collateral to someone else, means they're not even ready to let you know that they you can they can be trusted. I mean, it's better you accept the collateral. Give me the collateral, pay me back two three times, build up my confidence. But you're not ready to do anything. You just want me to give you money now. No, so that's my advice for you. Now share your own experience on also on this platform which is comment your, your experience here and share this on, on other social media platforms now we'll give out you know the giveaway would also be one to one of the best comments on this video see you honest and this is an okay just for the 14th of february 2023 love you make sure you hit up the subscribe button and follow up gist.danielkeck.com